Hi, my name is Dan, and this video is one in a series that I'm doing on collisions and collision detection and response. Um, and in this one, I'm going to talk about a particular problem uh, that's to do with having converted uh, geometry objects into static meshes and the collision that you, you get with that. So first of all, I'm going to demonstrate the problem. Uh, so I'm going to start, oh, I'm starting from a, a standard third-person template. I've got nothing added here. And I'm in the geometry, and I've got a box. I'm going to drag a box in here. If you want to know more about geometry and using creating geometry objects and editing and using them, there's, uh, look for other videos on my channel about that. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to, I want the size here. Let's make this uh, 10 meters wide. And we're going to make it. Uh, five meters high, that's five, 50 meters high, let's make it five meters high, and we're just going to make it 10 centimeters wide, there's a really narrow, thin wall, there we go, and I'm going to pull that up until it comes out of the floor, and then I'm going to use the trick uh, to drop it down, uh, which is to press end on the keyboard, I was just looking for end, uh, so that's First box, I'm going to get a second box, and I'm going to use this box to create a doorway. Um, so we just make it intersect with the wall and set it to subtractive, and that makes it take away a hole. There we go. So let's play and show the behavior of this. Uh, so the wall is solid. I can't walk through it, but I can walk through the doorway, and that's exactly how I want it. The, um, uh, the collision detection on that is perfect. Fine. However, um, you may have heard it said by me even that you should come to a point where your geometry objects have been turned into static mesh objects. So we're going to do that. We're going to turn this into a static mesh object and have a look and see what happens. So I've selected both of them so that we actually get the, the doorway in there as well. And uh, this is just a, a drop down that you need to expand to get to create static mesh. I'm click that, and it's going to ask me where I want it. Give it a name. Uh, I don't really care. I'm going to call it Twinkle Smart, just because I can. That, to be honest, that's a really bad idea, calling things weird names. If you've got a sizable project, finding the actual object better is better to have descriptive names. Anyway, here we go. Um, right, I can run through the doorway. That's great. Oh, I can run through the walls also. That's not so good. Now, if you've watched my previous video, you'll know why this re why this is. This is because there is no collision mesh on the static uh, mesh. So we need to get into the static mesh ed editor, and we're going to put a collision mesh on. And we're going to get it to work out our best fit by doing auto convex collision. It's got all the stuff down here. Click apply, um, and that's given us a collision mesh uh, that we can use. Hopefully, so that's safe. Uh, and uh, well, we've not got to the problem yet. This is where we're going to see the problem. Right, we can't walk through the wall. Oh, we can't walk through the door either. That's the problem. And this is a fairly common problem you get if you've blocked out a level and you've been using uh, uh, these brushes, the geometry stuff. Uh, and uh, it took me a while when I first encountered this to find the solution to this, but actually the solution is relatively simple. So we need to go back into the static mesh here, and we've got to remove that uh, simple collision because we're not going to use that. We're going to go to the setting that's uh, down here about collision, uh, which is the collision complexity. Uh, there's some various different options here. There's project default, which is what it's set at. Uh, you can set it to simple and complex. Not quite sure with those, but what we want is use complex collision as simple. Okay. Now, if you watch the previous video, if you choose this, then it, it uses the uh, the actual mesh that is used for drawing the object as the collision mesh as well. And in this case, in terms of computation, that's fine. Because, as you can see, it's a pretty simple mesh. So anything that's a more complicated uh, object, this starts to become... Uh, more complicated and starts to use up your computational time. Uh, but for simple things, and it usually is simple if it's been created with a, with a geometry brush, um, is, is not a problem. And the other issue that you have when you set this setting, use complex collision as simple, 
is that you can't then use this object as a physics object. You can't simulate physics on it. But this is a wall. So we're not wanting to do anything in terms of physics with this, unless we're wanting some really weird situation where we can knock things down, in which case we can't go down this route. It doesn't really work. Um, so anyway, we've set that to use uh, complex collision simple, and we're just going to save so that changes uh, applied and press play. And let's check. We can't go through the wall. We can go through the door. So we're back to where we were. And that's because, obviously, we're using the the mesh that's being used for drawing as the collision mesh. And so that's the problem. It took us longer to get to the problem than it did to get to the solution because the solution's pretty simple. Oh, that's it from me for now.